Chevrolet, fastest growing van sales in America. There's one important yardstick for measuring the difference between Chevy, Dodge, and Ford vans. Value. How much value is a customer getting for his or her buying dollar? Let's examine some of the value features of Chevy's vans and compare them with Dodge and Ford. Interior space is the whole idea of a van. To provide a large amount of room for bins and racks, cargo, van furnishings, extra long loads, and comfort without an extra long wheelbase. Let's see how these standard long wheelbase models of Ford Econoline, Dodge Van, and Chevy Van compare. For example, let's try loading a mast for a small sailboat into each of these vans. The Ford Van. The Dodge Van. and the Chevy van. With over eight inches more cargo length than Dodge and two inches more cargo length than Ford. Now let's look at something big, van payload capacity, because that too is an important measure of that. Here is Chevy's best-selling van, the 125-inch wheelbase, three-quarter ton G20 model, being loaded to its limit. 2,747 pounds with a big heavy delivery of industrial solvent. It's really loaded, but not overloaded. Remember, they're going to have to unload all that heavy weight cargo at the other end of the line. They could put the same cargo in Dodge's best-selling van, a 127-inch wheelbase B200 van, but there's one important difference. Dodge's B200 payload capacity is 222 pounds less than Chevy van, even though it has a longer wheelbase. So our big friend would have to stay behind, and that would not be so good on the driver unloading on the other end. And look at what could happen in Ford's most popular van, an E-150 with a 138-inch wheelbase, with 352 pounds less payload capacity than the Chevy van. That means a 98-pound driver would have to make the delivery. The point is that Chevy Van's extra value means a shorter wheelbase and a shorter overall length than Ford for easy maneuvering, yet longer load space for more cargo, plus greater cargo carrying capacity than either Ford or Dodge. How do we do it? With the efficient design of Chevy's unitized body construction. Design is always an important feature of value. With Chevy Van, you get the advantage of more convenient loading and unloading, easier entry and exit, an important mark of value in a van. The effective Chevy Van sliding side door opening is over three inches wider and over an inch higher than the Econoline sliding side door, and over four inches wider and two inches higher than the effective Dodge Van sliding side door opening. Chevy Van rear doors are also higher and wider than the rear doors of both Ford's Econoline and Dodge's van. Convenience is another consideration when determining van value. Look for it in Chevy's design and innovative options which are not available on Ford or Dodge vans. Options like Chevy Van's new power front windows, the available handy lockable storage compartment under the passenger's front seat, or the available factory installed roof ventilator to help improve air circulation that's not available on Ford. Both Ford and Dodge offer rear air conditioners, but Chevy's optional rear air conditioner is located high at the back of the interior. Compare it with the side-mounted rear air conditioner of Ford's, which is similar in design to Dodge. With this location, 
Passengers could obstruct the airflow. Only Chevy van provides anti-skid strips in front step wells as a standard feature. Neither Dodge or Ford provide standard anti-skid strips. And only from Chevrolet can you order a factory-installed optional sliding side door extender link to accommodate customized fender flares and wide tires. How do you achieve value? Through thoughtful innovation. This security option is not available from Ford or Dodge. There's another basis for comparison when measuring van value. That's quality. The Chevy van floor is obstacle-free with continuous skid strips to make it easy to slide cargo in or out. Compare it to the Econoline floor skid strips that do not extend continuously from front to rear and the exposed bolt heads that could catch on sliding cargo. Look at the finished workmanship of this Chevy van headliner contrasted with the Econo line. Differences in value that you can see if you know where to look. Chevy Van puts the license plate here on the bumper so that a spare tire can be mounted outside here. But on the Dodge Van and the Econo line, the license plate is mounted in the door. And it means that an outside spare tire must be mounted on the right side where it can interfere with normal door operation. And notice this Dodge van rear door. Large cutout areas in the sheet metal and a protruding lock striker bolt that can get in the way when you're loading cargo or yourself. Chevy van provides this double panel rear door with no protruding lock striker bolt. Or take a good look at Dodge van's interior exposed dome light and tail light wiring, visible wells on the floor, the side panel header and upper door frame, both left untrimmed. Then, examine the Chevy van interior. You'll see quality engineering and quality manufacturing that add up to value. Chevy vans offer value that you should see and feel for yourself in a demo ride. Take one and discover what Chevy van value is all about. Chevrolet, fastest growing van sales in America.